Hi everyone, my name is Ellie. I'm the Commissary Supervisor here at Zoo New England. Just wanted to carry a quick message in today. Today's Zoo to You is brought to you by MIFA on behalf of the U Fund College Investing Plan. Learn more about the plan by following the link in the caption. Tour of our commissary here. This is the Franklin Park Zoo Commissary. There are two commissaries with Zoo New England. There's also our Stone Zoo, but today we're going to be focusing on Franklin. I'm going to give you guys a little tour of our commissary, and then we'll actually check in with our technician in a little bit to see what diet he's making. So, guys, so over here, this is our freezer. Uh, this stores a lot of our different frozen products that we use for our animals. There's meat and there is other fun stuff in here too. It's a little squash to just fall in. Business in the fall. So the animals that you use throughout winter. products for our carnivores and smaller and hidden from us is food. Uh, eat better than we do sometimes. So this is the freezer that it is a walk-in freezer and now refrigerator which is just over here. And so this is going to store a lot of our produce that we have for the animals. Um, we also do store our in here as well. We have five different greens, a whole slew of different produce such as as well. And we'll bring them in here and store them and then we'll go ahead and deliver them the very next day. Our refrigerator and our freezer is we're going to see the rest of the commissary now. So one thing that's really cool about the Franklin commissary is that we're basically like a mini store for the zoo. So we have a chemical closet and a supply closet which uh, has a lot of stuff that is not food related that we supply to all of the areas and the stone zoo as well. And then we also have down here is another um, storage area it's called our pantry. Uh, so in here we store all of the containers that we use for our different animals. But on this top shelf here we have other foods, nutrients, vitamins, um, things for our reptiles, some enrichment foods such as peanut butter, grape. We also do store chamomile tea. Uh, some of our gorillas do enjoy it a lot which I think is just lovely. So this is another one of our storage areas. And then the last area that we do have in the commissary specifically is our grain room. So the grain room stores all different kinds of foods that we use uh, for primates. We have a mini pig, we have exotic canine, all different kinds of food in here. Uh, we do use multiple vendors to be able to store all of our food together as well. Um, it's a huge army of vendors that we have. We thank all of them for being able to provide what our animals need here in the commissary. So now we're going to head over here and we're going to check in with Charlie. So Charlie is one of our full-time commissary technicians. He works five days a week with us. Um, so Charlie right now. I am making the diet for our colony of free-flying bats. There's about 72 of them and they live in the tropical forest. Yes, and it is one of our biggest diets that we do have here. Um, in case you guys didn't hear, uh, this is our free-flying bats diet. So right now Charlie is measuring out about 800 grams of grapes for the bat. Um, peel about four bunches of bananas every single day for these bats. It is quite the intense uh, diet, but it is one of our favorite diets here at the commissary to make. And the way that we do make our diets, uh, we use a diet book. So this is one of our diet books. This is our herbivore diet book. You can see there's two different diets on here. We have bats that are in an exhibit and then our free flying bats. So this is actually the diet right now that Charlie is making for us. 
And we do this every single day. We have over 120 diets that we make every single day. Um, they do change up based on rotation, based on the day, um, and some animals don't get a diet every single day. Like a lot of our inverts, they get it every few days. Uh, so it just depends. It is a full-time position. Uh, we have Charlie here, and then we do have another technician um, who does also work full-time, and then we have a huge army of volunteers. Right now, between our staff and volunteers, they are what keep all of our animals well-fed around the zoo. And I did want to take a moment. If anyone has any questions for us, I am happy to answer any of our questions. Um, just jump right in at any point in time. Yeah, one uh, comment that the sound is coming in and out, but we'll, we'll, we apologize. I do apologize that the sound is coming in and out, yes. Um, but yeah, so uh, right now we have already made most of our diets for the day. We try to stay um, as organized as possible. We have a diet day um, schedule, basically. I can show that. It's right over here. Uh, because we do make so many diets, throughout the day, we use this. This is our diet days. So it shows all of our different areas that we have. Um, and then it splits it up by herbivore, omnivore, and carnivore. And we fill this out as we go throughout the day. Because it is a lot of diets that we do have to make. So we have to stay somewhat organized to make sure that we're making them all on time and, and making them all correctly as well. Um, Great question. So the question is, is where do we go from here? Um, at this point, once we're done with diets for the day, uh, we do store them in the refrigerator, and then tomorrow morning we'll take all the diets we made today and we'll go ahead and deliver them to all of the areas. And then the areas uh, do go through a second prep phase. And I do believe one of the last zoo to use, you guys all got to see that, um, at our tropical forest with the DeBraza diet. Uh, so once we make it here, we put it all in one bucket, and then the keepers will go ahead and split it up for the individual animals as well. Um, and we do have, you can see all throughout our commissary, we have containers everywhere. Uh, we do have to have all different sizes, whether it's a smaller container or a larger container. Um, we try to be very aware of our containers. And I just wanted to give a little bit of a background about myself, too. So I've been the commissary supervisor here for about a year now. Um, previous to this, I've worked in animal care. I've worked for other zoos in public outreach. Um, also, in the commissary, other zoos as well. Uh, and I do say, the ones that I have are the production that we have here. But I do really enjoy it. And then I have had my degree in wildlife biology. Um, which has been very helpful for here because I know how to research about natural behaviors, natural habitats, natural diets for our animals. So what we're providing is a nutritionally balanced diet that also mimics as much as we can get their natural diets out in the wild. So our free-flying bats diet, he's going to get the lid on and we're going to put that in the refrigerator in just a moment and then he's going to move on to our next few diets. Uh, but you can see here, that is a lot of bananas that we have to peel every single day for our bats. Uh, this is pretty intensive, but I think in all of our opinions, especially mine, one of our favorite diets to be able to make. All right, so I do believe that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining us at the Stone or at Franklin Park Zoo Commissary. Hopefully we can get you guys to join us at Stone in the next few months. Uh, we do appreciate you stopping in with us, and feel free to ask any questions that you have, and we will be happy to get back to you um, as soon as we can.